Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I have my second Never Naked by Jackie collection to share with you guys. This is the Rainbow Hollow collection. So my initial goal when I was planning out this collection was to have five to six polishes, including the hollow top coat. I thought five to six would be a good number. I didn't really have any colors in mind. I just knew that I wanted them to be hollow. So I started playing and after a while I kind of just, you know, stepped back to assess what I had made and without even realizing it, I had made an entire Roy G. Biv rainbow of hollows plus the topper. So I decided to just go with that. Um, so I have eight polishes in this collection, Roy G. Biv and then the hollow topper. Now initially, I really had my heart set on calling this the Roy G. Biv hollow collection. And then I realized that several years ago, 90 Lacquer had a rainbow hollow collection and she called it Roy G. Bibbs, so I couldn't call it that. And then I was going to actually name each polish, I was gonna name it R, O, Y, G, you know, according to the color. And I thought that was really cute and clever. And then at the same time, I realized that most people are probably only going to buy one or two polishes and it's not really going to make sense to just have a G polish. You know, without having the Roy G. Biv all together, it wouldn't really make sense to just have a G polish. So I ended up, you know, giving them names. Um, what else do I want to say about this collection? Um, everything, they're all vegan, cruelty free, and they're all at least five free, if not ten free. Um, so I get my ingredients from two places. One place very clearly states this is ten free, this is vegan, and it lists the ingredients. The other place that I purchase from, doesn't list anything. It doesn't list ingredients. It doesn't say vegan. It doesn't say anything. So a while back, I contacted the company and they messaged me back and they said, everything is at least five free. Most things are 10 free. And then they said, nothing has animal products in it. So the most I can say about their products, because they don't list ingredients or anything, the most I can say is that they're all five free because they did say they're at least five free and because they don't have animal products that they're vegan. So, um, unfortunately I can't say that they're 10 free. I'd like to say that everything's 10 free, but because I don't know the ingredients on that one website, I can't. Um, I think that covers everything. Um, they're all, the bottles are 10.5 mLs. Everything, once this goes live, I'm going to post everything to my Instagram, which is Never Naked by Jackie. I'm gonna do the way I did it with my first collection, I'm gonna have each individual listing, and then I'll have the pictures, you know, the bottle shots, the videos, whatever. And then under each listing, I will, you know, say what the polish is, its status, and then I will say how many I have of each polish. And then as people buy the polish, I will update the listing. So if I start with four and someone buys one, I'll update the listing to say that there's three left. So to purchase, you're, you would go to the Never Naked by Jackie Instagram and see what you like. And then you'll send me a DM and tell me which polishes you like. And then I will calculate the cheapest shipping and let you know the total with shipping and you know cost of polishes. And if you agree, then I will send you, you give me your email and I will send you a PayPal invoice and you give me your full name and address. Um, I decided to make four of each polish this time and then five of the topper um, just because I don't wanna have with my first collection, some I have like two polishes left and some one of them sold out and I made another. I don't want to have a lot of leftover polishes, so and I don't, you know, I'm still new. I don't know how you know how many polishes people want to buy. So if the listing says sold out and there's one that you want, just DM me and if I have the ingredients, I will just custom make to order, you know, whatever polish you guys want. Okay, I think that covers everything. It's a long intro. Let's go ahead and get started. So these are my Rainbow Hollow polishes. All right, so the first one is the red, and this is Red Tastic. This one is a two coater. They're all two coaters, except for one. I would say you probably want three, and I'll talk about that when we get to that one. Um, this one is a clear, um, smooth two coater. They, another thing, they all dry textured. There's a lot of hollow in these. They dry textured. Um, they do dry dull, so you will want a really good top coat. Um, if you have like a glitter top coat, that would be even better. For me, I have been doing one coat of Sesh Feet and then one coat of like a plumping 
gel top coat I think I, yeah, I have it right here I was doing my nails earlier or was doing swatching earlier um, I used salon perfect plumping gel on top of sesh, one coat of sesh feet and it's been working perfectly um, okay so this is red tastic two coats I really love this one it's a nice bright red it's a true red it's not pink it's not orange really really love this one this one is um, I don't know if it's my favorite but it's definitely one of my favorites love this one Okay, and then we have the orange, and this one is orange glad. This one is a bright orange, chock full of hollow, lots of hollow in this one. I don't know if you can. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show me swatching my nails, so you'll see the swatches, and then also I'll include any videos that I've taken in any um, swatch pictures. I'm trying to see there, can you see the hollow in that one? So this one is orange clad, and then we have the yellow, and this one is, I would say, a three-coater. Um, on my nails, I'm okay with two, but I think most people um, for visible nail line will want three, or even undies if you don't like any visible nail line. This one is really chock full of hollow. I'm just trying to get to come across the camera. This one is a nice, bright neon yellow. Okay, and this one is yellow mellow. I know the saying is mellow yellow, but I wanted the names to have the color name first, so this is yellow mellow. Okay, and then the green, now this one, ooh, this one. This is greenly, look at all that hollow. This one leans slightly teal. I initially was going to, since I decided to do, you know, Roy G. Biv, I was gonna make this change it to be more like a primary green, so it could be more like, you know, Roy G. Biff, but I really just didn't want to change this. It's, um, like I said, it's slightly teal, chock full of hollow, really, really sparkly. And this one is called Greenly. Okay, next we have the blue, which is what's on my nails. I'm wearing the blue, and I'm also wearing the topper on top of the blue. I just wanted to see how the topper I've been experimenting with the top row for lots of different things, including the hollows. So the blue, this is Blue Lagoon. This is just a bright blue. This one, again, is chock full of hollow. Let's see if it's coming across on camera. See all that hollow? None of these bottles have labels yet, by the way. If you haven't noticed, they will have labels. So that's the blue, Blue Lagoon. Um, really smooth in two coats. Really, really like this one. This one is really fun for summer. It's just nice. Look at that nice and bright blue. Really like this one. Okay, and then we have the Indigo. This one is bright. This one is Indigo Glow. Look at that, you guys. So you can see this is the blue, and this is definitely has a lot of purple in it. It's not purple. It's not blue. It's Indigo or what most people would say, a blur bowl. So this is Indigo Glow. This one is really nice in two coats. This one's got a lot of hollow in it as well. I feel like the hollow really stands out on the darker colors. And that is Indigo Glow. Okay, and then we have the violet. I wore this one the other day. I showed you guys on Instagram. This one, I wore this one also with the topper. This is violet. This one is really bright and fun. Not quite. I mean, the pigment is neon. It's a neon purple pigment, but the overall effect I don't think is quite neon, but it's just really bright and fun. Got a lot of nice hollow in there too. Really nice in two coats. This one is really just, like I said, bright and fun. I really, really enjoyed wearing this one. Okay, and the last one we have is the topper. This one is called Hollow All The Things. This is my hollow topper. This one is so fun. I love this one, you guys. Now this one, I really wanted to call it Hollow All The Things, and then I thought that it sounded vaguely familiar, and then I got nervous that 9-0 had a topper called Hollow All The Things, and when I looked, she doesn't have a topper called Hollow All The Things. She has top flaky toppers that are called Flaky All The Things, and then when I Googled Hollow All The Things, I couldn't find anything in particular that popped up as a nail polish being called Hollow All The Things. So I decided to call it that. Um, if there is something out there called Hollow All The Things, 
my bad, but I guess nowadays there's really nothing that original. This I've been wearing, I made this one last year and I've been wearing it ever since then. This one is just so sparkly. This one over um, my swatch pictures. The swatch picture I'm gonna show you, the top picture is this in two coats and then the bottom picture is this over black, white, gray, and a pink so you can see how it looks and then I'll also show the video. This one is just, it just takes everything to the next level. All right, you guys, so I'm going to, by now you've seen all the pictures, I've inserted them. I'm gonna include the nail swatches of me swatching everything um, and then any other pictures that I have at the end. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you go see, um, check out my website, my Instagram, Never Naked by Jackie. I'm gonna link that below. Um, I hope I covered everything. I think I did. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.